What's going on guys? You're another epic video. Today guys, we're going to be doing an updated profile, one that I haven't done in a while. We're going to be doing my one of my favorite decks. If you guys have watched any of my live streams, I usually used to play live all the time here on the channel, was my Dino Shadal, and it's been a while. It's been about a year since we've done a updated profile on this deck, so I figured that's what we do today, guys. I went and tested this. I played against uh, Telenite and the new Dogmatica deck with all the Dogmatica support that we're fixing to get here in a few weeks. Uh, so, but it was able to win both those matchups, so I figured good enough for me to do an updated profile on it and show all some of the new stuff that I'm using since the last time I posted. So like always, guys, I'm running just the standard three, uh, good old conductor. I like playing them at three. If you don't want to play them at three, you can cut them down to two. It's, it is a 41 card deck, so you could shave one if you want to, and it's still be 42. But my reason is still the same as always. I'm fine with drawing one in turn and still going through our regular combos, and if for whatever reason we can't do anything right, we bait them out with that and then just go conductor and wipe out their board, right? So that's still my thing, still the standard 3 OV, of course, because you're going to do a lot of your combos. OV is definitely one of the best cards in deck, as always. 2 Amador and Classic, right? You always need 2, 2 1's not enough. 1 miss, because we can only play. <laughs> Unfortunately, 1 miss, we miss miss a lot. <laughs> uh, good old Rex, so 1 Rex. Uh, 3 baby guys, because right, you're going to be popping babies like crazy, so we need 3 of them. Uh, just the one petite's fine. I, I feel like two is two is too much. Like if you were gonna balance it, maybe like two two babies and then maybe two petites. You know, you make it test that out. But I don't feel like you play high enough of the high ones to justify playing two. In my opinion, I think this is the right fit. Uh, we are gonna play two, one of the and one of the the Doodle Beast Tyranna. Looks looks hilarious. If you guys haven't seen him yet, <laughs> so that's fantastic. Um, alright, so then we've got our Panker Tops. Alright, then we've got our Draco Sack, and then after that, so after that, guys, that's all of our, basically our monsters for the deck. So for our spells, right, we have our Shadal Fusion. Move it up a little bit so you guys can see it. Triple them, right, because you want to try and get this in hand, right? We're, we're, we're the same as always, guys, right? This is a hardcore going second. You can go first, too, if you want to, but it does work a lot better you go in second, right? Because you just want to OTK them, right? That, that's essentially it. We want to OTK them, as usual. Uh, rest of our sh uh, Shadal package, right? One Schisms is still fine. One Beast. One Falcon. One Dragon. One Windy. I like still playing the Windy uh, in the deck, guys, because, right, if you resolve the Shadal Fusion... You can just go for go for Al Capone, Al Capone, send her and then send uh, send her, send Beast, uh, set Falcon, draw a card uh, from Beast. So that's a pretty good combo there to go through and do that. All right. So next, still I'm only playing two Lost uh, Lost Worlds. So if you wanted to bump it up to three, I mean that would be you know it's not wouldn't be too bad. I, I kind of like playing it too because I don't want to draw multiples in hand. So that's why I'm playing it as a two of guys. And then we're just playing one of the Dragonic Diagram. Uh, so we can pull our True King to our hand. And then the standard three Fossil Dig guys. Two Pill. So those are going to be our standards for those. Triple Dark Lure, right? Because we want to make sure, in case they get something out, that maybe it's a little bit harder board for us to break. Maybe we don't draw it as a uh, Insane Hand is maybe, you know, this particular turn, right? You can Dark Ruler. Sometimes you don't even need Dark Ruler. Like when I play both the matchups that I did, I didn't even use Dark Ruler, guys. Uh, I drew it. I think it was in one of the one of the duels, and of course Luna's trying to jump in the video uh, as usual. Watch out, Luna. There you go. Good girl. And we have two triple tactics talents. If you wanted to bump it up to three, that's fine. Like I said, it's there's there's room for you guys to change a few cards, but for the most part, I wouldn't change nothing too much, too you know, too crazy. We have the one lightning storm and the one duster because you guys know I hate back row. Uh, so we got that because we're right. We want to try and go for game first turn. If we're not going for game right, we're completely getting rid of their board, doing a huge amount of life point damage, and you know essentially, basically, if they have a turn, it's very little life points they're going to have at all. All right. So for the extra deck portion, so we have one Dolka, one Lagia, and then we have. I'll post the screenshot uh, here so you guys can see it. Number six. We got number sixty to Grasses. So we can go through and do some either extended drawing plays or try and go for uh, OTKs, things like that. Uh, Abyss Dweller, Zeus to wipe out the board. It's always good to have a backup. Uh, Lynx, the standard Karibo, Secure Gardener, Penestag, good old 
a good old collector's rare phoenix. I don't know why it's like, I guess it jumped because of Luna. There we go. Uh, she's still watching. <laughs> and then Elf, under Raw Goddess. And then we play one Construct, two Winda, and the Al Capone that you guys saw earlier. I'll leave the deck list down below, guys. Let me know. What, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I haven't done this profile in a while. This is still one of my favorite decks to play. And I, even playing the deck, it definitely felt very competitive. Uh, there's so many different versions you can make with the Dino. If you guys would like to see do other videos with Dino or my thoughts on a different version, let me know. Uh, Dino is still one of my favorite decks to play. This is one of the versions that I still love playing the most. Is with the Shadals. And then as we can see, like I said, Luna's literally watching me make the video, so you guys can see. Uh, but that'll do it for this one, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one.